Walling has been hard at work on a many, many new features, and today I have the pleasure of sharing with you the first of those features and the tip of the iceberg, which is resizing bricks. So let's talk about it. There are three prerequisites in order for you to try this for yourself. Uh, the first being make sure that your section view is set to visual view. The second prerequisite being making sure that you have your section set to manual and not auto. And lastly, you need some content. All right, now that we've got a good amount of content going on here, we can talk about how to utilize this feature to create something aesthetically pleasing. So first things first, let me show you. So you can just resize your bricks to any size you'd like, you know, so you can start making these things any amount of columns that you'd like. As you can see here on the top of the section, we have a rocker that can help us control the amount of columns that we have in our visual view. So right now we have it set to three. As you can see here, we are restrained to those three. Uh, this can go all the way up to six. So if you want something that's a bit more granular, you can turn it up to six, or if you want it less than that, you know, you can do two columns even. So the amount of columns that you have determines the width parameters that you can change your bricks to. I find myself enjoying five personally. So as you can see here, the height of our text bricks are determined by the amount of text that we have in our bricks. So, you know, if we increase the width to two columns, we can see that it automatically adjusts upward. Same thing with this one. And for photos, we can increase the width to two. And if we wanted this to be skinnier, we can just take the top and it adjusts automatically for us. Or if we want it to be like really tall, it can be really tall. So text bricks and photo bricks can be any width that you'd like them to be. Uh, text bricks are determined by the amount of content that they have inside of them. Photo bricks can also be changed to any height that you would like. So if you want like a massive header image on your section, there you go. So in this case, I'm making a web page for my friends to view, um, showing about what I've learned about smart home devices um, and how they can be sort of implemented in their home to make their living experience a little bit better. Um, so let me go through how I would sort of tackle this and show you kind of my process to do that. So as you can see here, we got the smart outlets photo. So we actually need this guy up here. And since it's a sort of shorter paragraph, I'm going to have him be just two columns wide. I'm going to make the photo three columns wide, and then I'm going to match the height of, of the photo to the height of the text brick to make sure it presents as like one unified piece. Then I have this button here to some cheap smart plugs um, that I found that I think work really well. So I'm gonna use the button as almost like a divider for this part of the information. So I'm gonna make this the full width of the wall here. Next up, I'm gonna do the Google Home app um, as the next one. And I'm kind of approaching this like a Z reading style. So like, you know, we got a photo, text, text, photo, that sort of style of um, presentation here. And this photo height matches up pretty nicely with the text height. Next, I'm going to do the smart thermostat. So I'm going to drag that photo here and then drag this guy out. Looks like the height's a little bit off here, so I'll fix that real quick. And then next, I want another divider like this. But since I don't have a link, I'm just going to add a brick and do an automation heading and then make this the full width of the uh, wall. And then I'm going to center that. I'm going to get rid of that extra bit there and color code this to something. Actually, maybe I'll add the, the stars again as a little divider. All right, what's next? Let's do the lighting automation piece right here. So we'll make that two wide and then three wide here, like we sort of have been doing. Then I'll shrink that down to match up with the text brick. And then lastly, the creating routines one. Put that there, mash that up, and there you have it. We have a very nice, nice little layout here for our visual section, presenting the information in a slightly more digestible way, given the, that we have a bit more manual control over everything. And that's the only reason I told you to change it to manual in the beginning, is because if we did automatic, it would be uh, we wouldn't be able to change those widths and things like that. It would just be determined on our columns and kind of just automatically adjusted for us. And then with manual, you know, we have that that nuanced control over everything. So where we can do this kind of thing a lot more easily. And then while I'm at it, I'm just going to tweak this a little bit just so we can see some of more of how 
the other features work together within walling for this purpose specifically under the wall customization options under miscellaneous there is something that says the brick profile pictures because as you can see i'm on the bricks currently they're kind of you know my photos just like scattered about all over the place it sort of detracts from the point right so i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that and it does adjust our layout a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick And since this is supposed to be just an information page for a couple of friends, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of some of this extra stuff here. Oh, and I'm going to change my brick corners to extra rounded because I like that for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So now that we've got that, we can go to our three dots on the wall and click share and invite. We can turn on the shareable link, copy that link, and let's go take a look at it. And here we have it, our beautiful little information page with all of our stuff in it looking very very nice and tidy if i do say so myself and that's about it really just remember the uh, column amount is what determines sort of the granularity of how much you can control your brick width so you know if you have three columns then you have you know three sort of break points on each brick width so if you want more break points you know just make more columns and uh yeah so I hope you enjoy the new feature. I am certainly really digging it so far, and I'm super excited to share all the new stuff that Walling's been working on with you as it becomes available. Um, until then, stay tuned and have a good one.